Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again. So today is actually the fifth video of the week. It's been pretty mental this week, plenty of stuff going on. And if you've seen the muck spreading video, which I did earlier on in the week, but has just come out, you will know that we have mown some grass. So the plan for today, I am going on the rake. So we gotta clear that up so we can get the muck spread onto those fields, then they're gonna be piled up. So that is the plan. I've also got Josie with me as a cab buddy for today, wherever you are. So if you do enjoy it today, guys, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. Come on, up, 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 come on, up. Good girl, good girl. Well, after a slight delay with Josie getting in that muck, we are off. Find where the key's meant to go. How much fuel do we have? Plenty of fuel, full tank. Let's get rocking, Jose. Right, so we've made it. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. TTO on. Well, we're raking. Right, oh, so we are off and rolling. It's actually more on here than I was expecting. It's the first of one. Two, Maybe five fields I think we've got to do. It's got a little bit of track to drive. It's been a while since we've been on. This stuff does look very dead, but when I'm rowing it up, I'm sure there'll be some nice stuff in it, and there'll be plenty good enough for this sheet. This one is quite stalky stuff, and that's down to basically it going to head in stress when it was really hot. Last run of this first field, absolutely smashing it. This takes about an hour to do, what's the field? At least 20 acres, I guess. One arm up, other arm up. PTO off, revs down. We're done, Joe, so aren't we? First field done, and up we go. Right, let's get to second field. Right, Jace, you can have a quick run. Go on, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Is another field done. Once again, P2 off, revs down. We've just got to do a couple of things outside with the rake because where we're going to next is quite tight. So I'll pack this up and I'll chat to you once we're outside. Right, so first job is because the next place is quite tight. We're just going to flick these up. These are like guards that go on the tines. Sometimes they're just a little bit too big. So you flip them up, we'll flip them down in the field when we get there. Um, it's just getting in there because I know there's some trees, so we just don't want to catch that and bend anything. But while we're here, I will quickly show you guys exactly how the rake works. So these are what the tines look like. They're springy metal ones, and what these do is just pick the grass up. So as you can see, we're doing multiple rows and pulling them into one. Sometimes if it's earlier in the year, we'd have it all spread out. And it's pulling it into these rows, ready to be bailed. I don't know how well you can set, but that's what the grasses look like. This is actually probably a better quality grass than at the last field we were in. Probably not the best row to go up. <laughs> this one's a bit better. So as you can see in here, it's quite nice grass. There's not a lot of it, but it's quite dry. It'll be good for the sheep. Obviously with the heat recently, well, I'd say a month ago, all of this went to head, so it's quite a little bit stalky, but there's some nice green stuff in the bottom. Hasn't needed to be tedded out because there isn't loads of it, if I'm honest. Right, what we'll do now, we'll fold the rake up and we'll go to the next field. Come on then, Joyce. Up you get, up you get. Good girl. Now we are at 
the third place. A lot of this is actually already in round up. I thought I was doing a bit more than I am. Luckily, it's fairly straight. Should get it in one touch wood. That's it, that's it. Oh, it is a bit wet in here. Sorted, we are in. Now to go through the tight gateway. So we go across this one, then under the branches, which is why I've put those guards down, and we're into the next field. <laughs> Well, the straight lines were going all right until I put the drone up. There may be a couple of wibbly wobbly ones, but I'll take that without GPS. They're fairly straight. <laughs> Another couple of runs and we'll be done. So what I want all you guys to do, comment in the comment section, is actually guess how many bales we're gonna get today. So that first field dad has finished. We got 23 off of that, that quite big field. Then we got this one, we got the one we were in before this, and it's actually the other two that you would have seen in the drone shot of the high up of this. So I want you guys to have a guess how many bales will be. I'm gonna hazard a guess at 66. Yeah, 66. So that is my guess, but we'll, we'll see. Right, oh guys. So I have finished all of the raking, and Dad is now here with the baler, and George is just over there with the tractor and wrapper too. Although he is just having a little bit of a wait because Dad has pretty much bailed the first field, and there's only two bales, so he's just sitting around having a wait because there's nothing worse than wrapping. Wrapping one waiting. You may as well wait for what you're about to do. Before I just have a look at the bale that's come out. So this is what it looks like. It's not incredible stuff, but it'll be very nice stuff for the sheep. What will happen with this now, it'll be wrapped up. George will do it. And this is pretty much the last of the haylage that's going to be done for this year. And all the muck is here ready to be spread onto this field and the other ones that I've been raking on today. So guys, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. George is cracking on with a bit of wrapping, so I'll leave you with a few sh drone shots of them bailing and wrapping. I'll see you next time, but don't forget, watch these drone shots first. <laughs>